تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آورس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی آصف حنیف فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس پریزیڈنٹ ہیز ایکسپریس دا کانفیڈنس ڈیٹ نیشن ول ون دا وار اگینسٹ کورونا وائرس وتھ سپورٹ آف پیپل اسپیکر نیشنل اسمبلی ہیز اسٹریس دا نیڈ فار یونٹی امنگ پولیٹیکل لیڈرشپ to fight the coronavirus pandemic. A British anti-war body has called for lifting of sanctions against Iran due to the devastating impacts of coronavirus outbreak. In Afghanistan, 28 people were killed in clashes between government forces and Taliban in Kunduz province today. And now the news in detail. President Dr. Arif Alvi says we will win the war against coronavirus with support of people. In a tweet, he said every Pakistani must fight this war and enlist every friend, relative and neighbor as a soldier. He reminded the people about simple precautions of social distancing, washing of hands and not to touch one's face. Speaker National Assembly Asad Kaiser says unity and harmony of political leadership is the need of our to fight against the coronavirus pandemic. He was talking to leader of opposition in National Assembly Shehbaz Sharif on telephone. They discussed the onslaught of coronavirus and ensuring economic challenges faced by the country. Both leaders also consulted on the constitution of a joint parliamentary committee. The speaker said the proposed committee will keep an eye on measures adopted by government and will give its inputs. Shehbaz Sharif appreciated the efforts of Speaker National Assembly to unify the political leadership in this difficult time. The number of coronavirus confirmed novel cases in the country have reached 629. According to statistics released by the government this morning, 292 cases of coronavirus were reported from Sindh, 137 from Punjab, 103 from Balochistan, 31 from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 10 from Islamabad, 55 from Gilgit Baltistan and one case of coronavirus was reported from Azad Kashmir. Moreover, three deaths were reported from coronavirus and five patients have been discharged from hospitals after a complete recovery. Radio Pakistan has released a song to pay tribute to the services of frontline doctors, health staff and paramedics in their fight against coronavirus. This song praises their dedication, devotion and spirit to serve the humanity besides boosting their and the nation's morale in this challenging time. Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government has decided to ban all inter-districts public transport in the province for seven days from tomorrow. According to a notification issued by provincial government, the decision has been taken in wake of surge in coronavirus cases. However, intra-district passenger transport will continue. Similarly, all markets, shopping malls and restaurants have been closed in the province for three days. The government has advised public to follow the precautionary measures and limit their movements to protect from coronavirus. A British anti-war body, Stop the War Coalition, has called for ending inhuman sanctions against Iran. In a statement, the anti-war body said Iran has seen devastating impacts of corona outbreak because of the U.S.-imposed sanctions, which have halted people's access to medical care. Meanwhile, an electronic petition created on UK Parliament's website also retreated the appeal for lifting of sanctions. Pakistan has expressed deep concern over deteriorating health condition of senior Hurriyat leader Muhammad Yasin Malik, who is in Tehar jail. In a statement, Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi said, the victimization of political leader to suppress the voice of Kashmiris is highly condemnable. In occupied Kashmir, Indian troops have arrested two Kashmiri youth on fabricated charges during cordon and search operation in Shupinya district. The troops took to the youth to unknown location. Meanwhile, a 20-year-old Kashmiri boy was injured when unknown gunmen shoot at him in Turigam village of Kulgam district. In Afghanistan, 28 people, including four soldiers and 24 Taliban, were killed during clashes in Kunduz province today. A local government official said the clashes broke out after Taliban fighters stormed security checkpoints in surrounding areas of Imam Sahib, Arch and Khanabad district early this morning. He said six security force members, two civilians and 19 militants were also wounded in the clashes. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live video streaming of our news bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan news official.